Hello and welcome back to another Daisy King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at texturing PAAs and PNGs ready for items in game. Um, this has been a request from someone on my Discord and I have also uh, generally had help with this myself and I would say I'm not a pro, there probably are better ways of doing it and um, there's probably millions. But these are the two ways I do it and I'm going to show you these today. So this is denim jacket I've already made. So let's go over to a new one. So let's cut this denim jacket out using the quick selection tool. We we'll just grab most of the pieces for this for the sake of the video. We'll just try and grab the best clip of it we can. Let's delete that. Oh, that one's on from earlier. So we've got the good boundaries of it now, I believe. Um, stage, take all this out here. Yeah, I'd say we've got a good boundary for that now. So what I would do is I would layer via cut, and I would duplicate this layer to a new document. So now I've got this layer in a new document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to the middle. And then I'm going to drag over my new texture that I want. I'm going to put it so it just covers the item. And I'm going to deselect that so we can't see it. And I'm going to reselect this item. Like that. And now I'm going to show the flame skull. So now we've got the flame skull cut we will layer via copy. So now we can delete our original flame skull and now we have exactly the same size layer to we have our jacket. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click overlay on uh, not this layer but on me skulls layer. So now it's overlaid. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click control and highlight both layers. Now I'm going to right click and click convert to smart object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and duplicate this layer again and now I'm going to move it back to the denim jacket. Now we've got it here. What we can do is now we can replace it where it comes from. And if we put the original piece, this bit, back over the top you'd never notice it was cut out. So that's one way of doing it for piece by piece items. Now let me show you another way for doing it for items like this BDU jacket for example. Let's close these now. So with this BDU jacket as you can see it's not very easily to be cut out. So what we would do is we would go and get the no HQ version of the BA, BDU jacket and you could do the same thing as last time and cut all these out. But we're going to do a different way now. So we're going to click on our layer 1, we're going to go to file, save as, we're going to save it as a Photoshop document. So we're going to call this BDU mask. Now we have a Photoshop document called BDU Mask. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in something that we want to camo this with. So I've got some red camo here. And I'm going to select the whole screen. Okay, so now we're going to select that red camo and we're going to turn that to an overlay. And we're going to select layer 1. Go to Image adjustments black and white and as you can see it just got that little bit darker so what we're going to do here is we're going to turn the blues down a little bit just to make it a little bit darker turn the cyans down just also to make it a little bit darker and that looks just exactly how I would have it 
So now what I would do is I would save this as a PNG, convert this to my PAA, and this would now be my jacket for in-game. Hope you've learned a little bit from this. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, we've missed a step. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our red camo. And we're going to go to filter, distort, displace, hit OK. And we're going to use that mask. So now that will give our red camo the textures of the little bumps and the creases within the lines on the jacket. As you can see up here, you've, we've now been given these textures, um, whereas we didn't have before. You see, if I go backwards and forwards, control shift D. So if you can see that, it's kind of distorted the image a little bit to match the original image there. Okay, so that is now how I, uh, I do my two, and uh, hopefully this helped a little bit and um, enjoy your day Z. Have a good day, like, comment and subscribe.